The United States is the currently the defending cup holder. Therefore, Captain Furick will have the option of selecting first or deferring the selection to Captain Weir. Captain Furick, your decision, please. Yeah, we're going to defer. We want uh, Mike to pick first. All right. Captain Weir, you'll be selecting first for match one. Your selections, you have two minutes. Jason Day and Ben On. The international team has selected Jason Day and Ben Ahn. Captain Furick, your selections, please. Xander Shopley, Tony Finau. United States team has selected Xander Shopley and Tony Finau. Captain Furick, you'll select first in match two. Colin Morikawa and Sahith Figala. United States has selected Colin Morikawa and Sahith Thigala. Captain Weir. One minute. Adam Scott, Minwoo Lee. The international team has selected Adam Scott and Minwoo Lee. Captain Weir, you'll select first in match three. Sanjay M and Tom Kim. International team has selected Sung J M and Tom Kim. Captain Furick, Scotty Scheffler, Russell Henley. United States team selects Scotty Scheffler and Russell Henley. Captain Furick, you'll select first in round four. Wyndham Clark, Keegan Bradley. United States selects Wyndham Clark and Keegan Bradley. Captain Weir. Taylor Pendrith, Christian Bezadenhout. The international team selects Taylor Pendrith and Christian Bezadenhout. Captain Weir, your selections for match five, please. Hideki Matsuyama, Corey Connors. The international team has selected Hideki Matsuyama and Corey Connors. Captain Furick, your picks. Patrick Cantley, Sam Burns. The United States selects Patrick Cantley and Sam Burns. The first starting time for round one is at 11.35 tomorrow morning. The rain, uh, sorry, the forecast is calling for heavy rain overnight into the early morning hours with improving conditions as the morning goes on. Gentlemen, good luck and play well. We'll go ahead and open to questions if the media have any. Raise your hand, we'll bring your mic.
so there we have it. We know the first five matches of this President's Cup. They will be four ball tomorrow in the opening session. And the internationals are choosing to lead with Jason Day and Ben Allen. They will take on Zander Schofle and Tony Fina. There's a lot of matchups. Lav, I've got to give you props. He said he thought Minwoo Lee would be out with Adam Scott, and they're out there in that second match. The internationals took a lot, a lot of time to decide who would go out in that second match. They had to counter the Americans who said Colin Morikawa and Sahith Thigala would go second. What do you make of what we just learned? It's really surprising. I think with the players that the international team uh, is going to sit, I thought you would have thought you would have sent out all three uh, Canadians to try to stir up the crowd. I would not have been surprised at all had Corey Connors or Taylor Pendrith been out in that first matchup, just sort of set, to set the tone. I do like, however, what Mike Weir did by sending Jason Day. You listen to his press conference uh, on Tuesday. He's been very disappointed. His 5-11 and 4 career record in the President's Cup. He's been a big reason why uh, that international team has struggled. Putting him out with Ben on one of the biggest hitters uh, on the PGA Tour, I think could be a, 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 a proven pairing for them as well. Yeah, and the reason it takes so long is because your, your next pick has an, it's like a domino effect, mm -hmm. has a pick on your sequential picks after that. So predicting what may come up on the opposition side. So um, they took a little bit of, of time to sort of gather their thoughts and just sort of predict not so much what was going to, who they were going to put out in the second match, but how it was going to impact who was available in match three, match four, and match five. I was worried the clock was going to run out on them, but they got there just in time. <laughs> then we would get to pick <laughs> if the clock ran out. So here's the layout for tomorrow. Let's get back inside the media center and get some reaction from the captains. What went into the decision to uh, to split up Patrick and uh, and Xander? What went into the decision to split them? Um, I mean, it's little known. They just don't really like each other anymore. They don't get along very well, and we we felt like now. Just um, you know, I, we're trying to maximize our you know. If, if you've got eight guys or ten guys on the, on the course, we're trying to maximize your potential, uh, get the best five groups you can get out there on the golf course. Um, I, you know, it's I think talking to my assistants, it's talking to our statistical team. Um, you know, I, th there's a number of different reasons. Probably don't. Uh, you know, obviously we know those guys play all their practice rounds together. They're great friends, uh, get along very well, and. Um, no reason other than trying to maximize the potential we have for the five groups on the golf course. Go ahead, James. Go ahead. Hey, Jim, over here. And just with the speed of your decisions there, had you just decided your four pairings and the order they would go out no matter what the matchups were on the other side? No. No, we had some options. Um, we tried to, uh, you know, tried to spend a little time thinking about maybe what Mike and his, his group would do. Um, but more than anything, we had a few options out there. It just, we had a plan, something we wanted to do, and it kind of fell into place with the, the way we went down. It's not, well, I think we could have mixed a few of those, those pairs up, but we like, like the order we're in. Adam Stanley. Uh, Mike, was, was there a thought just to get a Canadian out there in the first match to get the crowd on your side early? Not, you know, kind of crossed our minds at some point, but not, you know, the matchups are the matchups. And once we d we had our discussions internally, we had uh, um, a plan, and uh, that's that's how we thought it. We didn't really just want to put out a Canadian just to do that. Adam Shupak. Mike, over here. You seem like you really wanted the first team out there. You were, what was it about Jason Day and Ben Allen? You were, you were, as soon as they said you were picking, you, you named them. Like I said, I think, you know, we just, we'd ask, we just had a plan internally and uh, we were confident, you know, there's two options there when they were either going to go first or defer. So we had options for both. If we can get a mic over to Dylan to share behind you, Amanda. Yeah, Mike, what did you like about the uh, pairing of Adam and Min Minwoo? Yeah, I mean, obviously the obvious, the Australians, um, you know, men's obviously a powerful player and so is Adam and, uh, you know, the guys just get along really well. They've, they've known each other. He's, Adam's mentored him a little bit as well and, uh, you know, they're just a, a great fit. They just really like each other as well. Shane Ryan, front row. Get a mic to the front row, please. 
really getting into nuts and bolts here, but I'm always curious about the choice to defer first because essentially it gives you four chances to react uh, proactively instead of five because that last pairing, you're just kind of your default a little bit. Um, what, what makes you defer? Say that again? So when you defer, again, I realize we're getting deep into oh, the every, nuts. I think every, I would venture to guess that every one of these was played was always deferred. Um, it's going to be even today and Friday. It's going to be even Saturday. On Sunday, basically, the internationals will pick first. It comes down to you get pick 11 and 12. Mike will throw out uh, his 11th, and that gives us two pairs on 11 and 12. There's really no difference. Um, I think, you know, maybe first match is out. You get the pair up. But honestly, it's, it's pretty even the whole way. It's, it's not a massive difference in our eyes other than uh, maybe in singles you get seven matchups versus five. And then uh, Max Homa, uh, just thoughts on, you know, obviously he's had a really successful President's and Ryder Cup career so far. Yep. Thoughts on putting him on the bench as well? Well, I think putting him on the bench uh, is, a, is an extremely harsh word. Um, you know, you got to have two folks that don't play tomorrow. Um, Max, uh, I have a lot of confidence in his game. I have a lot of confidence in what he brings to our team. Uh, not only from a playing standpoint, but in the team room as well. And you're going to see him play a lot of golf this week.